What's going on guys? Derek here from Wilson Audio Lab. Today we're going to look at a new amp, relatively new, from Sundown Audio, the SFB 1000. This is the smallest amp in the SFB lineup, and you may ask, what in the heck does SFB stand for? Sundown Full Bridge. And most people, when they think Full Bridge, they think of amps like Tar Amps, these Brazilian style amps, but honestly, Full Bridge has been incorporated for many years and Brazilians are just <laughs> kind of where it's known. This amp's actually made in China. You can see the price there, 239 Got one of these in. Let's take a closer look and see what it's all about. Now these amps are also supposed to include a bass knob and my buddy John over here on YouTube, check the video description for his link, shows what the bass knob looks like. It's a really nice bass knob, so I'm gonna have to pick one up. Here's the amp. You can see Tiffany style RCAs, very nice. Has high and low pass crossovers, a gain control and a bass level control. Remote connection there, power clip protection, and then we have eight gauge for the speaker outputs. On the opposite side, we have four gauge for 12 volt and ground and approximately eight gauge for remote because you know you got to have an eight gauge for your remote. You big dummy. Also size wise, you can see here compared to my hand, it's a pretty compact amplifier. Here are the dimensions, 7.25 inches by 4.75 inches, as well as the millimeter equivalents there. And then for the height, we have 2.5 inches or 63.5 millimeters. According to the box, it does 510 watts at 4 ohms, 860 at 2 ohms, 1410 at 1 ohm. Check the video description. I'll link you over to Sundown Unofficial where they talk a lot about these amps, but they do have one warning. Do not, do not, do not run them below 1 ohm. All right, so we will not run these amps below one ohm, but got the amp all hooked up. Next up, you know what we're gonna do? Let's hook it up to the amp dyno here and do some RMS power output test to confirm or deny the ratings that they have given us. First up, four ohms. It's rated 510 watts at 14.4. Let's see what we get. Certified here, 40 hertz. Yep, 517. 14.1, so even a little bit less. The uncertified test, for those who don't know, is one that takes it up to clipping. So this test is always gonna give us more power, 578, as you can see. Dynamic runs a pulse tone into the amp to simulate how much dynamic headroom the amp has. 577, 14.46. As far as efficiency goes, 75.2% at four ohms, which is not great, to be honest with you. Two ohms, the amp is rated 860 watts. 14.4 volts. Let's try certified here. Again, 40 hertz. Test stops at 1% THD, and we got that rating easily, 936 at 14.41. Uncertified, up to clipping. Got over 1,000 watts, 1,009 at 14.1 volts. Let's try that dynamic pulse. Check the headroom. One thousand eighteen watts. Nope, one thousand twenty nine. Fourteen point six four. Efficiency is about the same. Seventy one point three percent at two ohms. All right, now the one ohm test with the amperage rate of fourteen hundred and ten watts from a one k. <laughs> yeah, it's already overrated based on the ratings, and I think what they do is they just rate them based on what they get on their amp dyno, which is pretty much what I got. Fourteen fifty four at fourteen point two three on the certified test. Uncertified, look at this, we got over 1,600 watts <laughs> under 14 volts. Pretty incredible from an amp this small. Dynamic burst again, right around 1,600 watts, a little bit over. 1,636, nope, 1,648, 14.36. Again, a measure efficiency right around 71%. So it's good that it does that at one ohm, but all the other ohm loads, I would think it'd do a little bit better. Do not run them below one ohm. I know you guys like me to see me do the low ohm test, but you know, in this case, I'm actually gonna use this one in the car, so I did not want to blow it up, so I did not run it under the recommended ohm load, but here you can see the internals, and Sundown Unofficial has already shown this if you've seen their video before, so there's nothing different here. See the power supply section there. You can see the output section at the top. The rail caps are 220 microfarad, 80 volts, and then for the filtering caps, it's hard for me to tell. I think it's 25 volts, 700 microfarad. But as far as the good stuff, we did like the power output, the compact size, it does include a base remote. Tiffany style RCAs are very nice. 
has a two-year warranty if you buy it from a dealer who is authorized to sell this. And speaking of sell this, that's actually on one of the could be betters. The online availability, these are limited, extremely limited to, to only like a couple online dealers and they can kind of set the price, which kind of sucks. It has single RCA in and out. Efficiency could be better at four ohms and does not have an owner's manual, unfortunately. It doesn't come with the amp. They don't have them ready yet, according to Jacob, but I'm sure they'll have them soon. So there you have it, the Sundown SFB1000, pretty impressive as far as the amp dyno goes, but how does it work on real speakers? So we're gonna try that coming out in the future. Thanks as always for watching. Make sure you give me a thumbs up. Till next time, where Big D is, I'm out of here. All right, since I couldn't run the amp lower than one ohm, I decided what I do is do a lower voltage test at one ohm. You can see still 1332 watts at 13.5. And also, those of you who know me have, I have a JL10W7 as my daily driver here in my Honda. So I decided to take out the Rockford Fosgate Punch 200. It's been here for years and put this Sundown amp. We'll have to follow back up in the future and see how it does. That will be a follow-up video. Now, coming up next, the audio pipe 3K. That's right, stay tuned. This will be coming up in a future video. Big D signing out once again. Peace.